Hi class. In this video here, what I want to do is I want to do an introduction to module three um, with Excel here. And the main topics in this week are going to be talking about the correlation coefficient, the linear correlation coefficient R, and what we call the coefficient of determination R squared. So the Excel file I have here is an Excel file that comes up in your Zybooks um, lectures and also in your challenge exercises. And what it is, is, is it's populate its data on um, certain cities in the United States. And what it lists is the price of single value homes, the price of condos or co-ops, the price of all homes, the household income in that city, the unemployment rate and the population. Okay. So here's the first one. So I want to develop a, a model, a linear model between two variables. So here, the first variables I'm going to pick are household income here and the price of a single family home here. And so what I want to estimate, or, or not estimate, but uh, right, figure out first is what is going to be our predictor variable and what is going to be our response variable. So our x variable here, I think, is household income. Like, I think household income um, helps determine the price of a single family home. Right, like in the sense that if there's a higher household income, um, uh, you, the the price of, of these homes is likely to go up. That That's what I think what we're seeing here. Next, it says calculate the value of R. That's the linear correlation coefficient. So what you're going to do is going to go equals, and then it's the Corel option, C-O-R-R-E-L, so like this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select household income here, like this. And then I'm going to hit comma, and then I'm going to select the value of the single family home, like this. And you see here that my value of R is, it's, it's almost pointing, it's 0.7939. So it's, 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 it's positive, it's close to one. So what this implies, there is evidence of a strong linear relationship between the variables. And that, and that makes sense, right? So as, as income rises, so won't the, the prices of homes in that area. All right, so we want to find the regression equation. So in a previous video, um, I showed you how to use the linest function here, but I, I want to show you an easier one, okay? So there's two commands in Excel to help you find a regression equation. So if you just want to find the slope, you go equals slope. And then the first thing it's going to say is your Y values. Well, that's the single family homes comma, and then your X values here are your household income. And that's our slope, okay? So it's positive, it's it's 12.625. So, you know, since R was positive, that's what we would expect it to be. The intercept is actually just equal intercept, also very easy. You do your known Y's, comma, then your known X's, close the parentheses, and that's your intercept right there. So it looks like my regression equation is y is equal to 12.625 times x minus 335,692.22. So what we can say here basically is um, What's going on here is the slope, we can interpret the slope. So the slope is saying, look, on average, for every additional dollar of household income, we would expect housing prices to go up, on average, roughly $12.63. The intercept here has no meaningful interpretation, okay? So basically, like, the intercept here would be saying, like, oh, you know, um, for a household income of zero, we would expect the value of single-value homes to be negative three hundred and thirty five thousand six hundred ninety two dollars which which just doesn't make sense so you can interpret the slope here but you can there's no meaningful interpretation of the intercept so calculate r squared so this is what's called the de coefficient of determination and it's just equal to r the value you got for r literally squared like that so you just take your r value and you square it uh, you can also find this on the scatter plot too you've seen me make scatter plots there's an option to put the r squared value in there but if you, if you know R, you can just square it to get R squared. And what this means is, okay, the coefficient of determination means 63% of the variation in the price of single value homes is 
is explained by the variation in household income. You know, there's a lot of things that explains the, the variation. Like if you look here, okay, notice how homes in um, Atlanta, Georgia, single value homes are a lot more expensive than homes in um, Minneapolis. And what we're saying is that 63% of that variation can be explained by the variation in household income here. Or here, this is a little bit better of a grouping to see it on, right? So like single value family homes in Cincinnati are roughly 200,000, household incomes is 38,000. Single family homes in San Diego are 829,000 and um, household income is 75,000 roughly, look. So what we're saying is this, the variation, the difference between this and this, 63% of that variation is explained by the difference in income. Right, like there's other factors that influence the, the difference in price, like San Diego's close to a beach, things like that, nicer weather than Cincinnati, perhaps. Um, and so that's that's what the coefficient of determination uh, is explaining for us. All right, class, I hope this helped as a quick introduction to module three and its Excel work.